Hello guys and welcome to Need for Speed Heat. The trailer yesterday went down very, very well. A lot of likes, it was trending, I loved it. I'm very, very excited for this game. I am playing the game next week at Gamescom and hopefully I can get some gameplay for you guys. Fingers crossed. And I'll give my honest assessment, good, bad, what I like, hate, stuff like that. And also give Ghost Games some feedback. That's, that's what I'm going to do. But let's start with some of the news I missed uh, from yesterday. So I know this is an important topic for a lot of people. People hate micro transactions, loot boxes, stuff like that. That has been confirmed as no, does not exist in Need for Speed Heat at all. Sweet. So Forge, who works with Ghost Games, works with EA. This is a very like transparent comment, which I like a lot. I love when developers are just honest. Uh, we have plans for post-launch paid a DLC in the form of car packs. Maybe a Toyota car pack. Um, a Honda car pack. We don't know. Uh, later this year, uh, we'll introduce a time saver pack. This will help with collectibles, and that's it. Honestly, there's no loot boxes. There's nothing in the game. Yes, no microtransactions in the game at all. I think that's great news. Honestly, it does not bother me as much as other people, but I'm really pleased they're not in the game. Um, the whole speed cards, uh, didn't like those. They are also confirmed to not be in the game as well. We're going back to actual parts. I know. Crazy. Another very controversial topic is handling. The handling in Need for Speed needs a lot of work. I've been playing 2015 recently, and my god, <laughs> uh, the grip handling especially is, is, is not ideal. So they've got a new handling model for the game, Need for Speed Heat. So I will try that at Gamescom. I'll give you guys my honest assessment. We'll see gameplay on Monday as well. So yeah, proof is in the pudding. We're going to see how it handles. It does seem like drift and grip are back. So it's a very similar format to 2015. 2017 um, and now Need for Speed Heat. It's the same sort of model. I can't find the actual comment, but I remember seeing Falls yesterday said, "Yeah, the grip handling is a lot better." Um, yeah, but obviously he's a he's, he works with EA, so <laughs> he may be a little bit biased. We don't know. We're going to find out next week. Fingers crossed. And then we come to our first ever look at the HUD. Yes, this is the HUD for Need for Speed. Oh my God, looks really really cool. So. Uh, let's start on... Oh, by the way, uh, thank you to GamerGen.com for this, this screenshot. Right, so let's start with the bottom right. So RPM, uh, miles per hour, that's your speedo. Uh, you've got your gear there as well. And then there's a NOS bar, the blue bar around the speedo. So that's your NOS. You've got full NOS right now. And of course, that's a Dodge Viper. A no, little bit of nice customization there, nice little splitter and front bumper. Very nice. Like in the, the sort of Japanese decals. And then next to that, you have a health bar for your actual car. So, say he now crashes and that health bar goes depleted, it's gone. It basically sends you back to the garage, you repair your car, and it skips to um, the daylight time, basically. So you skip to the, the showdown, uh, the Speed Hunter showdown. And then it's the same for during daylight hours as well. So if you damage the car again, it will skip to nighttime, where basically you repair the car. Also, the screenshot isn't perfect. The resolution seems a bit low, just so you guys are aware. But lots of reflections, lots of lights. You've got two cups. You've got one on the right here. Does have a health bar, which might be controversial to some people. I don't know. You've got a cop behind as well. And then you've got this like, rail system in the middle. I'm not quite sure what that is. Lots of palm trees. Again, this is very much Miami vibes. Uh, you got your... I think that might be your level, like all your heat level in the middle. And you're earning 45 rep. Well done. <laughs> I don't know what he's done to earn that, but cool. And then we've got the, the map. So we've got downtown Palm City. Looks like the garage. You've got a petrol station or fuel stop. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, that's normally used to refill your NOS, uh, repair the car. Which will be a more important aspect in this game now. Because obviously damage is... If the damage gets too low, the evening is done, basically. It uh, looks like there might be some sort of like drag race, like traffic lights. And there's like two like main events. So one's like a sort of pinky event. One's just like sort of light blue. And I'm guessing they're like main events. So Need for Speed story events that you can do. 
try to work out what these little lightning symbols might be on the map, sort of the top of the map. I don't know what they could be. Maybe collectibles, something like that. I'm not quite sure, but the reflections look incredible. The trees, the graphics look really, really cool, considering the resolution of the screenshot is not perfect. It's not 4K uh, by any stretch. It looks really, really good. I'm excited. <laughs> it's, it's a cool looking HUD. It looks a lot better, a lot cleaner uh, than Payback, for sure. So this is something I have pre-ordered already. This is the collector's edition of Need for Speed Heat. You get a wonderful cardboard box. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, I honestly love the art style for this game. Um, you get a notebook, so you can write down, scribble down your notes, future plans for cars in the game maybe. I don't know. Uh, still book case. This is the alternative cover. This is the deluxe edition of the cover. And that's where you get the Corvette. So that's splitter, by the way. I've said it already. That is scary. <laughs> that is one scary, scary splitter. That will take your feet out completely. Just clean off. And then you get the wonderful Polestar one. This is the one they customize in the trailer. The yellow version. And again, looking absolutely delightful. Looks like Polestar have gone, uh, EA, do what you want. There's so much customization, it's insane. So this is a 1 to 3.3 scale model, die cast model. And it's really detailed, really nice. Can't wait for that. Uh, stickers, again, I love the art style for this game. It looks so, so good. Reminds me a little bit of like a sort of Watch Dogs vibe. Um, lots of neon colors. It's looking really good. And you get some magnets. I don't know why anyone would want magnets, but fair enough. If you want to put those on your fridge, feel free. I prefer to maybe just like postcards or, I don't know, a poster. Um, that, or a t-shirt. That'd be dandy. Uh, but yeah, that is the collector's edition. Looking really good. I had to pre-order that. 100%. It is £100 though in the UK, which does include the game, I think. Yeah, it does include the game. I don't know if it's been released anywhere else, like in Europe or in the US. I don't know. Um, do your research. But yeah, £100 is quite a lot. So it does include the copy of the game, which is about £40, and then like £60, I guess, for the collector's edition. But it is a die-cast model, does look pretty detailed, and it's Need for Speed, so I, I had to get it. So I think that pretty much covers all of the sort of extra news that I found out about Need for Speed uh, Heat. So just to confirm, uh, during the daylight hours, you do the showdown event, the Speed Hunter Showdown, that's where you earn your money uh, for parts and stuff like that. And then at night time, you earn rep. And that's when the task force comes out and they try to take you down quite aggressively. If you get heat, they come out to play and they're very, very tough. A little bit like 2005, Most Wanted, the, the cops are tough. The cops are back and they're mean as ever. So uh, yeah, hopefully the gameplay is good. I will be recording the game Hopefully next week's not been confirmed yet, but I'm going with EA, so hopefully <laughs> I can recall gameplay. Uh, there is gameplay on Monday, which has been showcased at the, uh, like the showcase event for Gamescom. So you guys can see the game in action. The gameplay I've seen so far looks very drifty, very payback. So I I, I don't know yet. I've got to play. It. I've got to play it. Got to see more gameplay. Um, still a little bit concerned about that. But no microtransactions. I love the whole pro street, uh, underground, most wanted vibe into one. Bam. Love it. It's it's an interesting idea. Part of me probably expects to always just skip to the underground scene, um, the sort of nighttime scene, because that's probably what I'm going to enjoy most. But it's still cool to have that uh, that pro street vibe as well. It, it looks pretty cool. Like, obviously, it's Miami, a bit of sun. Uh, a bit of palm trees. It's a it's a different vibe, and it's le legit racing. It's not illegal. The cops won't pull you over. You can race hard, and uh, within a within a confined space. So let me know in the comment section below what are you guys excited about? Did you guys like the trailer? Are you still concerned? If you guys want me to look at a, a particular aspect of the gameplay, let me know. Such as customization, the world, just the gameplay in general. How does it feel? Let me know and I will answer your questions next week. And uh, yeah, have a good day. I'm very, very excited for this game. Cannot wait for the release. It's coming out so soon. It got announced properly yesterday. And it's coming out in November. November 8th. That is so soon.
so so soon thank you guys for watching if you guys could be awesome and leave a little like subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification button join to become a member and i will see you guys soon bye bye